Well, as we told you earlier, hundreds of people gathered today to remember fallen Kentucky State Police Trooper Joseph Cameron Ponder. WYMT's Victor Puente has more. Trooper Cameron Ponder's funeral started before noon, but his graveside ceremony is just now wrapping up. That's because his procession was so long, it took hours to get from the church to here. Trooper Ponder was killed Sunday by a man police say he had pulled over for speeding. It's the third line of duty death for state police since June. There are just no words for what has happened in law enforcement and what has happened to our agency. The Navy veteran was a graduate of North Harden High School. As his procession traveled 10 miles, hundreds lined the road to pay their respects. I mean, that shows how the community feels about our law enforcement officers out here. At the Kentucky Veterans Cemetery, the crowd said one last goodbye. Despite their loss, state police say they're also thinking about the family of the man they say shot Ponder. Joseph Johnson Shanks was killed after police say he raised a gun at officers attempting to arrest him. The suspect's family is grieving too. We don't take that lightly. At Ponder's funeral, the commissioner of the Kentucky State Police said he was willing to help everyone under his protection, even those who wanted to do him harm. So the folks that do this line of work our servants. Along with his fellow troopers, Ponder's family and fiance were at both of today's ceremonies. In Fort Knox, Victor Puente, WKYT. We are told that law enforcement from as far away as Alaska was at today's funeral.